PSD with you. Tutorials on gaming. Before we start, if this is your first time to the channel and you would like to learn more about FreeBSD and the journey to a better desktop and server, then please hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out. Right, this is just going to be a quick video showing how to manually partition a new FreeBSD 12.1 install uh, using the boot menu or install menu. I'm basically just following the guidelines set out in the uh, FreeBSD handbook. So we'll just go through the install. I've sped it up a bit just to sort of like avoid uh, dragging this on. But you go through the usual routine. And once you get to the partition editor, you go to the empty drive or wipe a drive that's already there and start again. Go to GPT. And the first partition we want to make is the boot. So go to the top, change the ending bit there to boot. And we need 512k. Not very large. We don't need it to be lit big. And then that will do. There's no mount point on this. The next one we want to make is the root partition. So we'll leave that as it is, UFS. Go down to size. And we can change that to something like two, two gigabytes. It doesn't have to be huge. And mount point is just the forward slash. And that's that. And the next partition is swap. You can use a swap file if you wish, or you can go for the more traditional uh, swap partition. In this case, we're going to go for swap partition. It's going to change it to FreeBSD hyphen swap. And the size, uh, I'm going to go by what it says in the book. I'm going to choose four gigabytes, and then that's it. And the next partition we need to make is var. Let's leave the top bit as it is. For size-wise, mm, two gigabytes as well. Mount point forward slash var. And the next partition after that is temp. Leave it at the top bit as it is. We'll give this one gigabyte. Again, I'm following what it says in the handbook. You can tailor this to meet your own system requirements, of course, if you need to forward slash temp and then that'll do and last but not least we need the user or usr and the user remained in space and so it's forward slash usr and everything you install yourself uh, your home folder everything else goes into this particular partition and we'll uh, click ok for that Right, that looks pretty good. You can put a separate home partition if you wish, but uh, that's a whole different thing and it doesn't work quite the same as it does on Linux. So we'll go through the install. I'm going to speed this up. Right. I'm going to skip to the end of this. It does take a while. There we go. Right, I'm just going to speed this next bit up. It's the usual um, configuration. I think you've seen it many times. And we'll reboot. And when we log back in, I'll show you what the newly created uh, partition system looks like. Right, we're in. So I'm just going to go down so we can see what we're doing. Just put a DF, and there we go. As you can see, we've got the root partition, var, temp, and user, or USR. It's really not difficult, and it's something I would advocate really for servers. Less so for a desktop, but it's there if you want to use it. 
Well, hopefully that was helpful for you, and thank you for watching. Catch you next time. If you want to see more videos like this, then hit that like button. And to make sure you don't miss out, please consider subscribing, as this really helps me help you.